I'm Les Stroud. Welcome to the inaugural VR Survival Simulator. You know, I've been learning and teaching survival for well over 30 years, along the way creating the award-winning series Survivor Man. Well, now I can teach you in the comfort and safety of your own home. I've created an Arctic survival scenario for you. All you have to do is stay alive, make it down the mountain, and be rescued on the coastline. I'll be there to guide you, though, every step of the way. engine failure. We need to lose weight. Open the doors for everything out. Save yourself! Jump out! You got lucky. Falling in the deep snow probably saved your life. You see those targets through the blizzard? Head over there. Okay, let's get familiar with how the controllers are set up. Press the buttons indicated. Hey, I'm Les Stroud. Look, I'm gonna be honest with you. This isn't good at all. But I've been through a lot worse. The reality is that every decision you make right now is one of life or death. And here's the good news. I'll be right here with you. Good luck. watch on your left hand. Your biometric watch will keep track of important information that'll keep you alive. Like your core body temperature. It's pretty cold up here. Tap the face of the watch. When you're cold and hungry, 
It's easy to lose focus. This list of priorities will help keep you on track. This is what dying looks like. Tunnel vision. You can hardly move. It's game over when you get to this state. That paint on the rock is a great landmark. Use it to find your way back. Hey, listen. I've done some location scouting for you. Come over here and check this out. Look at this. This is a perfect spot to get your fire going. You've got a rock wall in behind it that's going to reflect a lot of heat back at you throughout the night. And in behind me here, look at this. An excellent cave. It's a windbreak. That's really important. You want to get out of the wind. And you always have to have some kind of surface you can work on. And this little spot right here is going to be perfect for that. Either way, the next most important thing is to get warm. You don't want to become hypothermic. You need to get a fire going. Here. So take my knife. It's got a flint striker attached. All right, now try it out. Strike the blade of the knife across the flint. See those sparks? Yeah, that's how you're gonna start your fire. Put your knife on your belt and keep it there at all times. Nah, you won't need that. Now you're thinking. That's gonna work. Yeah, perfect. That'll work. All right, your winter boots made it. Well, hold on. Just one of them. Grab. Lip bomb. That's made out of wax. That'll work well. It's a great accelerator. You can smear some of the wax onto the paper to help it burn. You can use that as tinder. Bad books make great fire starters. Shave. See, now you're thinking survival. That's 70% alcohol.
smashed crate from the helicopter. That's gonna work. Man, that was a brutal storm, wasn't it? it? Looks like the blizzard's gone for now, though. And look at you. You got a fire going. Congratulations. What are you looking at? Oh, that chopper up there? That's tempting, isn't it? Think about this. What if someone up there is still alive? You have priorities, though. You want to think about your zones of assessment. What's around your body? What's close at hand? What's further afield? You got options now. Survival options. Make a choice. It's your call. Just remember, the choice you make is always going to be life or death. Don't get too ambitious when it comes to gathering supplies. This is pretty deep snow. If you push too hard, you'll exhaust yourself. The snow's up to your waist here. It takes incredible effort to walk through snow this deep. Look, you're punching through the snow. This isn't working. Don't just scramble up there. If you sweat, you die. When you sweat, you get wet. And if you get wet in windy conditions, just like here, you lose a lot of body heat very fast. Try not to kill yourself.
Come here, come here, check this out. See that plastic crate? Yeah, I'll bet you could use that. But that is one treacherous location. You slip from there, and you're going all the way down. It's game over. So how can you get out there? How are you gonna get there? anything around here you can throw? Try doing it without killing yourself. All right. Do I seriously have to spell this out for you? Pick up a damn rock. Kill yourself. Okay. Well, I guess that'll work. So long as you can go down again. You can't go down from here, so you have to figure out another way down. Piece of the helicopter. Okay, I see something here you're gonna need. Unscrew those hose clamps using your knife. Don't forget that crate. a little cold to me. Better get back to the fire. stay here for a second and warm up. You see that ring around the base of the fire? That's the fuel gauge. When you only see a little bit of it left, it's time to gather some more wood.
Hey, look at all that great stuff you've got there. I bet you could make something out of this. You know what? If you're gonna try to get up to that chopper, you're gonna punch through the snow. You have to increase the surface area that you're walking on. So why don't you turn all of this into snowshoes? Here, I've got the other boot for you. Center your boot on the crate. Now you can use the hose clamps to attach the boot to the crate. some snowshoes. To put them on, just bring them closer to your body. These hack snowshoes should do the trick. You're not punching through the deep snow anymore. I think you can make it up to the helicopter now. foam seat looks comfortable. You may want to sleep on that, but it's too big for your backpack. Get everything and get... That's going to be useful. For something. Good, that's a piece of cotton fabric. Grab it. It's working now, but batteries don't last long in the cold. idea. Now put it on your head. Stay warm. A tin box. Perfect. I can show you a trick with that, but you need to find something organic. Some kind of fabric. Nothing plastic. It might not be a big meal, but just the same, a couple of granola bars, that'll get you through to the next day. It's just enough calories to keep you moving. easier. 
Unfortunately, in this environment, water isn't that scarce, so it's one less concern you have for survival. A long pool like that will always be useful. I put it in the backpack. Awesome idea in pulling that compass out. Now you can take a bearing, set a heading, get yourself off this mountain. If the snow blows in, exposed skin can freeze in minutes, maybe even seconds up here. You better head back to the fire. 